this noise what you heard is not because of any moving or rotating part in a transformer each step contains hundreds of sheets you can imagine like a paper this is transformer lamination see a three limbed core you can feel it it's like a paper like this hundreds of laminations are stacked together dear students greetings of the day this is murli machines faculty medici i want to give you some details about magnetostriction process happening in a transformer this word magnetostriction contains two terms in it one is magneto other one is struction as the name implies magneto it refers to magnetism or magnetic field this word struction is originated from a latin language struction means to contract it refers to the change in the physical dimension contract or expand physical dimension shape or size or length so finally if you combine these two magnetostriction means it is the property of a magnetic material to change its physical dimension whether it is size or length or shape when it is subjected to a magnetic field this was first proposed by joules james joule in 1842 he is popular for joules law you will see in school physics right so this was also called as a joules effect before going into details i want to make you listen the sound what you feel near a transformer if you had been to any substation or if you go near a transformer you will listen some humming noise first i want to make you feel that noise then i'll tell you what is that hope you listened it right this noise what you heard is not because of any moving or rotating part in a transformer basically literally transformer don't contain any moving parts it is a static device but it is making a sound like a motor when it is running consistently at some speed a transformer basically contains two parts only one is a core other one is a winding primarily two parts only core and winding this is a core and a winding on the core the core function is to support the winding as well as to permit the flux with a high permeability to carry the flux that's it this core is not a solid one this core is made up of thin sheets the thickness of the sheet is 0.23 mm practically 0.23 mm such a thin sheet hundreds of sheets are joined stacked together to make a transformer core of different different sizes steppings see this is one of the largest transformer 765 kv transformer five limbed core the core has steppings steps in order to make it effective cross sectional area to savings in copper we make steppings for a better support of winding also see i am giving a closed view a close view see this is one step another step another step another step each step contains hundreds of sheets you can imagine like a paper hundreds of sheets see these sheets are made up of silicon steel in transformer for enhancing the permeability it is made up of cold rolled grain oriented silicon steel laminations these thin sheets like a paper when they are subjected to alternating magnetic field they change their shape because of this magnetostriction property first of all why to do laminations 
this is just to reduce eddy currents because what is the flux passing in the transformer core alternating type ac so this flux due to its rate of change of flux linkages produce eddy currents these currents circulate in the core first it produce eddy voltages and they produce eddy currents these are useless basically we want to be voltage induced in the windings not in the core and these voltages produce currents and the current keep on circulating like anything without any destination or direction they raise the temperature of the core damage the insulation in the windings and create a short circuit so in order to reduce these eddy currents we don't prefer a solid core it is not solid it contains hundreds of sheets like paper you can imagine hundred papers like this here visualize a thousand like this huge this every sheet has a varnish coat on either side every sheet to sheet there is insulation varnish material a thin layer of varnish coat will be there so you can imagine one single core is made up of many individual cores now there is no electrical contact between one to one one sheet to one sheet because of varnish coat so if eddy current want to flow it will flow only in that thin sheet now so you are reducing the cross sectional area to a lowest value so the resistance offered to the eddy current is highest due to which eddy currents will be the lowest that was the basic idea unlike a transformer in the other machines like a dc machine or induction if you check they have also laminations because their core cut the flux there is a relative motion there unlike a transformer so there the laminations are not as thin as transformer i want to show you this is transformer lamination see a three limbed core you can feel it it's like a paper like this hundreds of laminations are stacked together and windings are placed you can feel it it's like a paper it's bending like a paper unlike other machines like see this is induction machine rotor lamination thick not like a transformer this is stator lamination this is dc machine armature core they are also subjected to eddy currents because core cuts the flux but in a transformer core doesn't cut the flux in the transformer core the flux itself is alternating type like this when we supply alternating voltage across the winding primary winding of a transformer the current drawn is alternating type alternating current produce alternating flux let us take indian conditions 50 hertz supply means 50 cycles positive cycle and a negative cycle constitute one cycle means 50 positive cycles 50 negative cycles in one second imagine means 100 zeros 50 positives 50 negatives means a core take a lamination one sheet this one sheet is subjected to zero magnetization maximum magnetization again zero again negative magnetization maximum again zero means in a second hundred times the core try to change its dimension core in the sense every sheet continuous periodic changes in the laminations will create vibrations first i want to show this picture imagine this is the alternating flux flowing in the core means when alternating means first let us take zero when the flux is zero the magnetization is zero the magnetic domains in the lamination in the material core material is no don't have any alignment randomly aligned no magnetization once the magnetization went to peak i am talking about one half cycle first magnetization is zero it went to peak then this is the alignment a solid alignment will come in the magnetic domains due to which there is a slight change in the dimension of the material which is very tough for the naked eye to notice even to measure it's not possible and just illustration purpose i have kept like that a slight change will come then again after peak magnetization the magnetization come to zero 
because of alternative cycle then again this is a situation in each lamination i'm talking again magnetization go to peak negative magnetization again all the orientation is reversed this happens in one cycle like this twice the magnetization is changing twice so twice the core lamination extends contracts extends contracts means extends retaining original shape extends retaining original shape this is happening how many times 100 times in one second now you can imagine there are hundreds of sheets try to extend contract extend contract 100 times in one second and remember transformer has joints it has joints joints it has joints like this see these all are joints there is one piece like this there is one joint here there is one joint so hundreds of sheets join together and they have a joints miter joints kind of 45 degree kind of and these continuous alignments a periodic change in alignment they will create vibrations continuously and create a humming noise in the transformer the degree of magnetostriction can be measured by magnetostrictive coefficient lambda means imagine this is delta l this is length l original length l this one this is l length this is a small extension because of magnetostriction delta l magnetostriction coefficient is this delta L by original length L. This is a coefficient to measure magnetostriction. Ratio of fractional change in the length to the original length. It is a very tiny thing, see. It is in the order of 0 0.0001 percentage to 0 0.01 percentage. These variations are erratic, incoherent. Means they can be widthwise they can be lengthwise everywhere erratic incorrect these variations are very little to notice that's what i kept and now one question to you finally if you're asked a question what is the frequency of the noise what you listen from the transformer for that humming noise frequency if you're asked the answer is double the supply frequency This is the question. For a transformer subjected to 50 hertz supply, what is the frequency of magnetostriction? That sound. Because why it is 100 hertz? Because in one cycle, the core is subjected to expansion, contraction, retaining original state as well as expansion. Twice per cycle it is happening continuously, twice per cycle. So, if 50 cycles are there, 100 times it happens, those vibrations. That's why the humming noise, that frequency of that particular noise is twice the supply frequency. If 60 hertz is the supply frequency, 120 hertz is the frequency of magnetostriction humming noise. If 50 is the supply frequency, you have to say 100 is the answer. Hope it helped you to visualize what is magnetostriction happening in a transformer. Thank you for watching.